Hello, I'm going to be talking to you today about color mixing. We're going to be talking about the three primary colors. We're going to be starting with those and we're going to use those to make the three secondary colors. So a lot of times with paint and this time we're using acrylic paints, when you're mixing secondary colors or even tertiary colors, um, a lot of companies use a magenta instead of a hard red and that will give you some brighter colors so we're going to use what's called primary red but it looks kind of like magenta so i'm going to squeeze that out we're using acrylic paint from the tubes pure color called the hue so this is going to start as our red i have another red here to show you just to demonstrate what that would look like if we use that it's a harder darker redder red so we'll try that in just a minute. But I just want to show you what using the magenta type will give you. And when you're looking at computer inks for printers, they use magenta as well instead of just a hard red. Then we have a yellow. Straight out of the tube is called the Hue. This is primary yellow for this company paint. And then we have primary blue. Now, you cannot mix two colors together to get a primary color. That's why they're called primary. In nature, you cannot mix anything together to get red. You cannot mix anything together to get yellow and you cannot mix anything together to get blue. So we start with the primary colors. Two primaries equal a secondary. A primary means one, secondary means two. So if you think about it in math terms, one plus one equals two. So a primary plus a primary is gonna give you a secondary. So when you mix red, or in this case, this magenta and yellow, you get orange. If you mix yellow and blue, you get green. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. So let's start with orange, our first primary, I'm sorry, our first secondary color in the color wheel. We're gonna take a little bit of red. You want equal parts of each. I'm gonna take a little bit of that so I don't ruin the color for the next mix. With acrylic paints, this is a water-based paint, so you'll need some water if you wanna make it a little bit smoother. I am using a clear, sturdy base to mix my paint. This is a plexiglass and I just have white under it so that you can see the color a little bit better. Adding water will water it down. So when you start mixing, if it's too red, add more yellow. If it's too yellow, add more red. That might be a little bit too red, so I might want to add more yellow. The more yellow you get, you're going to get a yellow orange. The more red you get, you're going to get a red orange. So that's our orange. Now for our green, I'm going to take a little bit of the same yellow on the other side of this so that I don't get any of that orange mixed in. I'm going to take some blue here, try to get equal parts of each color to start out with. That might be a little bit more blue. My brush is wet. Again, this is acrylic paint. Water-based, you want to use water for cleanup. You want to make sure you're covered with an apron. You have paper towels or a towel nearby. Acrylic paint is permanent, so if it gets in your clothes or in the carpet, if it dries, it's not going to come out. It's not going to wash out. So if you spill it, you want to make sure you clean it up while it's wet immediately. If it's not mixing well, you might want to dip your brush in a little bit of water to get it a little bit more viscous. That will not change the hue if you're mixing properly. Now, if your green is too green, if um, if it's mo if it's more on the blue side, if it's too dark, add a little bit more yellow. If it's too light, too yellow green, add a little bit more blue. And I like this green, so I'm gonna be fine with it. So we took our pure yellow hue, our pure blue hue, and we got a green. So there's your green. And now for our purple or what the color wheel will call violet. You're gonna take some of your red. 
which is our magenta. Or what this company calls primary red. And you're gonna take some of the blue. I'm gonna get it from the other end so I don't get any of that yellow as to taint the color. Try to get equal parts. That may be equal. And let's see what our purple or our violet comes out as. It's looking a little blue, but you kind of want to, when you're mixing, you can use a palette knife. I'm just using a brush. But if it gets clogged up in the brush, you just kind of have to, you know, mash it out. And just make sure you apply pressure at the base of the brush so that you get that pure color that was in there first. Okay, that's looking a little blue. So I might need a little bit of the red, a little bit more of the red. That's looking a little blue violet. You don't want to use too much color at one time. You want to use as little as you can at first. And remember, acrylic dries quickly. So you kind of have to know what you're doing and what direction you're going in. Before you start mixing, you don't want to mix any more than what you need for that sitting or for that session. It's looking a little bit more purple. Now, if I add too much red, it's going to get red violet. Um, but this is still kind of blue to me, so I'm going to add just a little bit more red. And of course, it depends on your palette and what you're painting and what, where you're trying to go with your color. So that's a little more violet. Now that's about equally red and blue. So I'm pretty much pleased with that. But you, you did see how it did come out a little bit on the blue violet side in the beginning and I added more red. So if it comes out on the red violet side, add a little bit more blue. So there's your purple or your violet. So while I'm on the purple, I'm gonna take the other red that I showed you earlier and it's a harder, darker red instead of that magenta to show you what it would look like if you use a redder red. So let's look at the purple. As you can see, there's a big difference between that and your magenta red. And if you're using the magenta for mixing, it doesn't matter. Um, but if you want a red red for your canvas or for your palette, then you want to use the red straight out of the tube. So I'm going to take that same blue. And I'm going to show you what that would look like with that harder, darker, redder red. So let's take, let's just, we're just going to put all that together here. And I'm going to keep it separate over here so you can see the difference in the purples. Same idea though if it's too blue add more red if it's too red add more blue but i'm just showing you that's going to be a, a muddier purple if you use a red red instead of that magenta you can tell the difference already it's really dark and even if you put more blue it's just going to make it darker it's not going to make it more purple so it depends on what you're aiming for i'll even show you more red just to show you it's just going to make it browner instead of more purple. Even if I add more blue, it's just a muddier, it's a muddier, it's a muddier color if you're using a hard red out of the tube instead of that magenta. So when you're mixing for your purples and your oranges, you might want to try a magenta for your red. And I will come back with the orange. Okay, so I'm coming back with the orange using the harder red, the darker red. Let's just put this here. You can see the difference between that and the magenta for mixing. I'm just gonna use the yellow that's already here, same yellow, to show you that the difference is in the red and not the yellow. So it might not be that much of a difference with the orange since orange is a warm color. Let's get that yellow that's not mixed in with the orange already. Um, the red may not make as much of a difference as it would with the, the purple. So let's see what this will look like. I'm going to already need some more yellow. I'm going to 
I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna squeeze some more out of the tube because I don't, I don't wanna use that that has the, that's been tainted with the orange so that I can show you the true demonstration. It's already a little more on the red side. That's probably a little bit too much yellow. Maybe not. So with your orange, it's not that much of a difference because orange is a warm color, red is a warm color, yellow is a warm color. So whether you use the magenta or the red for the orange, now you can tell that's a little bit more red, but that could be because I didn't use the same amount of yellow. So I could add some more yellow. But whether you use the magenta or the red for the mixing of the orange, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. Um, but I do believe I'm adding a little bit more yellow to this than I was with the magenta. But as you can see, that's pretty much identical. So the red is not going to make that much difference with the orange. But if you want a purer purple or a purer violet, you probably want to use that magenta because that red is going to harden it and darken it. So there's your color mixing 101 with acrylic paint. Please make sure you clean your brushes thoroughly with water. If you get paint in the base of the brush that's not coming out you could use soap and water you can use dish soap dish liquid um, or they make special brush cleaners in the art store but you want to make sure that you clean it thoroughly get all the paint out if you use a soap to get the rest of the paint residue out you want to make sure you rinse that out thoroughly with the brush if you leave paint in the brush and it dries that brush is ruined you're gonna to have to throw it away acrylic paint will dry it's got a latex base a plastic polymer base it's going to dry and it's permanent so you, your brush is ruined if you leave the paint in the brush you want to get it out thoroughly make sure you rinse out the soap thoroughly if you use soap and dry it thoroughly and you want to store your brushes um, brush side up i hope that helps and i hope you have a great day thank you bye bye